Assalamu alaikum. Greetings of peace to all. Wishing you a very, very blessed day in Ramadan and a beautiful month ahead of us. We are so very, very excited and honored to have Imam Mansur Sabri with us this morning uh, to talk, to give us uh, Ramadan inspiration. I have to tell you, I look forward to those inspirations every single day as they make my day and they get me charged up and ready to, to uh, conquer the world. So Imam Mansur, welcome. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasul al-Kareem. I greet everyone with the greetings of peace. Ramadan Mubarak. Um, you know, today is, uh, is one of those days where I'm just in deep gratitude and, um, and thankful to Allah, uh, the creator of all, for just life and being able to share this moment with you all today. Um, I want to talk about a verse in, in my reading in the Quran as we um, dig in each and every day in the month of Ramadan and a deep dive into the spiritual practice of reading the Quran as an act of worship and an act of reminder. The, the verse that, that we hear often, but has really hit me in a different way today is in Surah Al-Baqarah. And the verse tells us, it says, uh, with God's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, it says, remember me and I will remember you. Be grateful to me and do not deny me. This is a verse that we hear quite often, and it consistently uh, comes as a reminder for us to think about our remembrance of God. At every moment we're in this competition of reflection and remembrance, where we're having these competing ideas, competing thoughts, competing for our attention, and God tells us in the Quran to remember me, and I will remember you. And this, this, this idea of God remembering us, uh, this idea of God uh, acknowledging our existence is a powerful reminder of one, acknowledging that he is the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the all-wise, the one that sees all, knows all, is all, all present. But in this verse is telling us that there is a, there's a sense of a special attention that God can give us. Um, remembrance of God in this sacred time, in this month of Ramadan, uh, is something that really has an opportunity in it and a power for us to be able to reflect and be reminded of his ever presence. To be in a state of fasting is to have all of your senses just hyper attentive to the world, to, uh, to where you are, your presence, your consciousness, your, your, your available mindset to be in submission to the creator. And so to, to have the month of Ramadan um, be a moment of fasting and having our appetites tamed. It also is a moment for us to be in this constant state of remembrance. Remember me and I will remember you. And when do we want God to remember us? We want God to remember us in times of hardship, in times of difficulty, but also in times when we are seeing the best of our lives lived, seeing the best rewards and, and outcomes in our work and in our effort for God to be with us. And then it says, show gratitude. So this consistent idea of just being aware that everything we have is from God. Everything we have is from our creator. And during this, this moment of really our community, our society, the world being hyperly sensitive around what we have, what we're sharing, what, what challenges we're facing today in this moment, Gratitude towards God is something that alleviates the pain, alleviates the anxiety, and turns anxiety into hope. Then it says, and do not deny me. Consistently, I think that we find uh, when we're troubled, um, remembrance of God isn't always the first thing that comes to mind. Gratitude isn't always the first thing that comes to mind. Well, that tech photo really, it, it, and do not deny me, is to not give the power of what we're going through, to not give the authority of what difficulties we may be facing, or even the success of what we may be receiving. Don't give it to anyone but God. Celebrate his praise. Be of those who remember him, he will remember us. Be of those who show gratitude to him, and he will bless us, essentially, giving us the reward and the blessing of this life 
and in the hereafter. This is a time in Ramadan where the reading of the scripture, reading of the Quran is a guidance and a mercy. And it's going to give some special gifts to those who pay close attention to the word of God. And it's going to give special uh, uh, realizations in our thinking, special awareness and wisdom in our being and things that we're facing today. There's no greater guidance. There's no greater word than the word of God. There's no greater medicine than the medicine that comes from scripture. And so as we dive in and we dig deep and we strive to be pleasing to our Lord, as we strive to be pleasing to the creator of all things, knowing that everything is with him, we should stay in a state of remembrance, stay in a state of gratitude and show and express that through loving one another and loving our way of life, uh, a way of life that's is, that is in generosity a way of life that's in peace, a way of life that's all for God. So I greet you all with the Ramadan greeting of a blessed Ramadan, a Ramadan Mubarak. May Allah accept our fast, may Allah accept our prayers, our worship, and our reading, and may he give us the best of this life and the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much, Imam Mansour, for your very uplifting words and, and reminder about how close God is and, and that we need to remember him. And what I got is remembering God is, uh, is power and opportunity. So thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you next week, inshallah. And uh, to all our viewers, thanks for being here with us. Please like our YouTube channel. And as usual, if you like the work of the ISB, we'd really appreciate your financial support at isbatlanta.org. Thank you so much, and may you all have a very, very blessed day. Thank you.